Now I'm not going to lie, this is probably the worst video I ever had to put together for this channel. And odds are it might be one of the last videos I ever do for this channel, which is just a horrible thing to say out loud. Now, most of you know my videos are very comedic. They're high energy. They're me when I'm at my highest level of positivity. And today, I just don't have it in me to be that positive person I always am in my videos. So I'm sorry. So basically, there has been a lot going on. And I'm sure many of you have noticed that I've barely been uploading as much as I used to. I mean, I went from a five day a week upload schedule to once maybe every two weeks. And I want to apologize for that. But there there has been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I couldn't really talk about. But today, I can finally say just a little bit. And it's just it's been a nightmare to nonstop deal with this and have no one to talk to about it. So we all know that a majority of my videos are comedic. And a majority of my videos have been joking around opening SpongeBob popsicles where I try to find a perfect one. We know that that has been a thing that's about one of my staple things on Brent TV. Um, so that started on my TikTok and then I brought that over to my YouTube, which ended out, you know, it worked and people loved it and they wanted more and more and more. Now, what does a YouTuber do when their brand finally starts to develop? Well, they make merchandise. And I was very careful in the thought process of making merchandise because what is the main thing about me that people know me for? SpongeBob popsicles. So when thinking about what my merchandise would be, I thought people know me for SpongeBob popsicles. And I know that sounds funny, um, but that, that's a big part of my life. And I know I couldn't just go ahead and steal anything that wasn't mine. I couldn't go ahead and take something from Nickelodeon or Popsicle and just use it and say it was mine. You know, there, you know, I, I couldn't. Basically what I did, um, was I took a painting of mine. And if you remember back on TikTok in May, uh, I started the whole like profile picture army and tons of people were making this profile picture, um, theirs. So basically I had my friend Sarah take the painting and turn it into a, you know, digital Photoshop piece, which then I could then turn into a PNG image to sell as sticker designs and, you know, the top of candles and magnets and whatever. This is the sticker. It's just, it's a, it's just a, you know, it's my own painting of a popsicle and never, you know, did we ever label these as SpongeBob popsicle stickers. Never did we say popsicle stickers. Never did we say SpongeBob stickers. It was just funny viral sticker. And it was my design. It was my painting. And then we had candles like this. And, you know, they smelled like they smell like SpongeBob popsicles. And like the top was my design that I made. Basically, the communication between me, popsicle had always been very mutual, very cool. They've sent me stuff. They sent me, you know, they sent me pop schools. They sent me a jacket. They sent me all this really cool stuff. Um, but at that time, I realized I was really only talking to their social media marketer, the person running the Instagram page. I wasn't really talking to people behind the scenes. Well, lo and behold, this is probably December. I received a letter in the mail from Popsicle, and I can't really share what it said because it was more so confidential. Um, revealing personal information about me, um, along with the problems they found with my merchandise and how it replicated their brand to the point that they wanted to take legal action against me. And I was really surprised. And I didn't want to say anything out of embarrassment. Basically, what they wanted me to do was completely rebrand everything, take away our sticker designs, our magnets, our candles, all that stuff, because we were representing their brand and basically potentially suing us for copyright infringement. And I never got around to it because I never thought something would actually happen. Uh, but I, I was completely wrong. Fast forward to the beginning of February, it's more serious. I received a cease and desist letter. I've been one-on-one -on -one with my lawyer and turns out this has turned into something bigger than I ever imagined. For the time being, I have to completely take everything off of my website, including my own personal merchandise and my lawyer said to stop YouTube completely, never come back to it, which that just sounds horrible, but this is not good. And trust me, if you want to see my videos, you can always go back to the old ones. You can download them. You can watch them. Uh, but for the time being, I will not be back for a very long time. And it's horrible. Now today, on top of everything, I received a document in the mail, and this is actually allowed to publicly be shown, and this is why I decided to finally speak out about this. I debated with many others if I should publicly show it on YouTube, and odds are this might be my last video, so why the heck not? Might as well go out with a bang. I'll just end everything on this note, because odds are this is my last video, so just thanks for being a supporter if you've been watching my videos. Uh, thanks for, you know giving me a reason to be positive every single day and just thank you all.
This is what they had to say. Gotcha! Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Now he's